Jasmine Martinez can't walk by her church without remembering the man who brought her there. I could say that I was the first one in my family to go to college, to have an education, and to be able to dream. When she was nine years old, Father John Payton gave her mother money to pay for Jasmine to leave Mexico and begin a new life at St. Rita's Parish in East New York. She says that kind of selflessness was ordinary for the priest who focused his life on immigrants and the poor. Our community needs a leader that stands for our rights. With Jasmine's DACA situation unsettled, she always finds herself praying to the pastor who died 10 years ago Saturday. Back then, her parish had resources for immigrants, helping thousands with applications, social services, health care, and housing. Making sure people go to school, they don't have the money, he'll figure it out. Getting homes, programs, you name it, oh, forget it. He was all there. And if he were alive today, he'd still be fighting. Definitely, he'd be leading the march, you know, even if he was in a walker. The anniversary of Monsignor Payton's death is giving rise to a new enthusiasm to help immigrants in the parish. Amory Carrada Cobar teaches faith formation in English classes, welcoming newcomers as the former pastor first welcomed her from Guatemala. Father Payton believed that with us, and he said, go and, and go and help another families. The Belize family probably misses him most. From Guatemala and El Salvador, Claudia and Alexander wouldn't have their home without him. Monsignor Payton helped at the start of the Nehemiah Houses in Brooklyn, enabling immigrant parishioners and poor residents to purchase their own homes. This is the little one. When Alexander got cancer of the esophagus three years ago, they sent extra prayers to heaven. If Monsignor hadn't convinced them to buy their home years ago, they say medical expenses would have them living in the projects paying rent. He take care of all the community. Mm -hmm. He loves the community. Parishioners say they don't make them like Papa Payton anymore, but they feel reinvigorated to lead by his example. Definitely left the seeds and now it's up to us to make those fruits grow. In East New York, Michelle Powers, Currents News.